Hello everyone. So today's uh, tutorial is focused on um, the few uh, focused on the three topics that is global uh, tools configuration in Jenkins and creating a uh, Java based or building a Java based uh, code using Ant as a build tool, creating uh, or building Java based code uh, using Maven as a build tool. Now. Uh, coming to the first part that is global configuration uh, settings for that just uh, go to your Jenkins login into it you will see the dashboard and go to manage Jenkins once you go to manage Jenkins we can see this uh, global tools configuration here just click on it So in this you can see various sections like uh, Maven configurations, JDK installation. JDK is your Java installation path. You can have different versions of Java installed and then you can have Git uh, different versions installed. Then you can have Gradle which is another build tool apart from Ant and Maven. You can add the Gradle and its uh, uh, installations details and all and and is the another build tool maven is the build tool and docker this is for uh, containerization so this is a new concept uh, which will uh, study after few uh, you can say months I, I'll, I'll create a tutorial on this part also so as of now let's concentrate on three things we will install Java or we will give the path and everything for uh, creating the global uh, configuration of Java so as uh, uh, you must have uh, I've gone through my previous tutorial assuming I'm assuming the same so just you can give some any name Java 8 or Java 6 5 etc you can give Sorry. and here you need to give the path of the Java uh, that is the Java home path uh, so that uh, it, it can take the uh, Java from there otherwise there is also an option of uh, if you you can see like install automatically it will install from the Oracle uh, website you just need to add here here are very op various options like you need to extract as a zip file install from Java Java Sun, Java Sun running batch file you can also install like you can configure some script or you can just uh, write the commands for installing uh, java using uh, batch command or the same thing using shell command so suppose you uh, we do this option then here we have to accept the uh, that is a, we, uh, this will download the uh, jdk from uh, sun java or oracle java just uh, write uh, check this box and when uh, you have to provide the username and password here for the Java website uh, that is the Oracle JDK web from where you will download same username and password you need to provide and just press OK you need the Oracle uh, you need to add the Oracle account here then uh, that's it if you do OK it will be installing that that is this is for installing automatically for now uh, in my in my case I have already uh, installed uh, Java in my operating system or this machine only so manually I have just provided some name uh, because it is Java version 8 I have so I have just named it Java uh, Java 8 and I provided the path of the Java if you want we can see here also I can show you the version So you can see this is installed at this location okay and now coming to the <coughs> git part so git also uh, this is basically it's not a git server which we are pointing here it's a client installation similarly that uh, <coughs> sorry so you can give any name here I have just given uh, default or you can give some other git uh, version name with the version of git you are having you can uh, use that so similarly 
I have this uh, git.exe in this path, so I have destroyed the path manually. If you want to install uh, uh, automatically, you can use this option and then you can provide the uh, command to run those things you can take. Okay. So uh, two things I have shown you for installing manually, like uh, just giving it a name and you can using the path that is JDK and git for ant and maven. I'll show you automatically how to do that so that we can cover both manual part and automatically part uh, automatic part uh, here. So ant and maven I don't have installed in my system. So what I do is I have installed it uh, you know, automatically using Jenkins. So for your case or uh, our case for learning, I'll install one more version. So let's do it. Uh, add and so uh, by default, this it has checked like install automatically. Now already I have 1.10.1 version. So let me 1.10.1 uh, version. So let me go to some previous version. Say I want this version. Just use this. Yeah, uh, and that that's it. You just need to provide uh, the name of so I'll provide it and 1.7 so these all are the uh, now we can see and has two versions because earlier I have installed 1.10.1 or 1.10.1 now I have 1.7.0 so these options will be sh shown in the job like which version of and you want to use to build so we can uh, choose from the versions now similarly for maven i have already installed maven 3.1.1 uh, client so uh, in our case we'll install one more so uh, let's say uh, we want to add one more maven so here you can uh, as i already have 3.1.1 let me install some other version suppose i am using 2.1.0 so you can give some other name like i am giving it maven 2.1.0 so it is easy to identify while choosing from the jobs option which I'll show you later. So this uh, checkbox is already ticked. So uh, so when we choose these options like this version I need to build in the job that time it will uh, automatically it will start downloading these versions and these versions are already uh, downloaded so it will not uh, download it again. For the first time every time if you check this box install on it will install during the job uh, during the job runs. So we will see those things later. Docker as of now we are not using, just save it. Save the job. So our uh, global tools configuration is saved, okay. So we have covered these all paths. Now we will move to creating a um, uh, Java based uh, code uh, or building a Java based uh, code using build tool as ant. Ant is an uh, another, uh, another yes another neat tool. So uh, it is used for uh, building Java projects uh, that is compiling, packaging those things. So I have uh, already uh, made a template like what all I should keep the name and all. So I'll, I'll explain you while creating the job. But uh, we can be clear with the project name only so i have selected freestyle project just click ok so our uh, project is created now here we have to uh, to configure the job details or the of, uh, operations which the job should do the task the job needs to do so uh, description you can give anything like let's give it um, this job uses build tool as and and version control tool as git hub okay let's go to the next part here now here this is the um, source control management which is the Next uh, part you can say, uh, which is the, uh, in, in the top it shows the various sections of the configuration of the job. So source control management is the version control part where we define like what version control tool which we, uh, we are using for the code checkout. Code checkout means simply just download of the code from internet 
or your repository or some link from where we can download the code so this is the url from where it will download my code credentials yeah already i have added a credential so it will not ask for me for you guys you need to uh, just go to add section and then jenkins then you have to provide the uh, you can select from various options here username password uh, ssh private key if you have key and all for uh, authorization or uh, providing some uh, um, for ac access authorization so that you can access my uh, your code from here so here i and here you have to give the id mm, the id you can give any name uh, which may be referred uh, this uh, ID is the one which stores your user and password. So when you use the job, you will just, just referring to the ID and it will take the details like details like username and password to be used. So the description you can use is my get hub account details or anything you can pass. Just add it here. So now you can see the option here like uh, this was the account account which i added so you can add it here okay uh, there are different uh, types of branches strong those things will cover when i'll cover with uh, uh, in uh, I, those things i'll cover in uh, version control tools tutorial so for now just consider this is the main branch or code from where it will download the code that is java code these options in your positive browser like right? uh, how to browse these uh, how jenkins will browse to my url so this is auto we have selected there are many other options you can do with that for for me i have just selected auto now let's go to the build section and here you have to add invoke and see because this is our and project and we want to build the project is in and so we have to select this option invoke and 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 version c uh, earlier uh, i was using and 1.10.1 now uh, in this tutorial i have just added one more and 1.7.0 using automatically option if you remember from the manage section uh, so we will select this one this is already not installed in the uh, system uh, uh, so Jenkins during the build it will start uh, start installing this for the as it is for the first time we will be using 1.7.0 so it will start installing with those things now the target the target uh, is the section where uh, the code starts executing in the XML and uses a build.xml uh, uh, build.xml from where it knows what to do what all tasks perform so target is just a point from where to start in and for now just consider it like it's a, some keyword which uh, by which uh, and will know what i need to start so our job is ready uh, let's do a build see we can see see we can see it has started unpacking the 1.7.0 as it was not there not present earlier in Jenkins, so it has started downloading, then unpacking it, and the location here it is uh, it has it is uh, unpacking the ant 1.7.0. Let me show you here. By default, if we don't give any uh, custom workspace or anything, uh, so it will uh, Jenkins downloads its code at a uh, by default in this location. So workspace is the section where uh, your code downloads from the repository. Repository means the Git here these are the these are the my code files these three uh, one folder and two files it should download in this workspace so as you can see dot git is the it, it's, it's, uh, it's from the git repository yeah this these are the three ex, uh, two expected files and one folder it should download from the repository so it has downloaded it here dot git extra uh, folder is extra because it is provided by git uh, that is a github which stores our credentials and various other information in that let me show you some other more things till it gets started so we can see the recent changes here this is the first time the build has downloaded the code from uh, the git for this job so it will not show any changes next time when you start building 
or when some commits or new files are added to this and we initiate a new build so it will uh, it will show the change in the state that is earlier one folder and two files were there so if we add one more file uh, so it will show the changes one more file and uh, is uh, and who has committed that change and the description which we passed is uh, it's, it's shown here this job is used as a uses build as a tool as an ant and version tool as a github so by this description anyone can any layman or any other person who is new in the team he can know what this job is actually doing you can also edit the description from here which we added in the job and uh, you can save it created by Amrit. so if you submit it it will update it here Uh, so now we can see our job has passed and it is success it has uh, gone through few, uh, it has uh, run the few targets clean target init target compile target this target and main target finally and here we can see uh, like it, it was started six minutes ago uh, more detail of the project like it was started six minutes and 52 seconds before it, it has taken five minutes and 40 44 seconds to build the project let's go and see the output of it so when we go to workspace so this is the new uh, folder which it has created dist and this is the expected output which were uh, like the artifact or the end product which we want day tutorials not java so this so okay our tutorial is complete